Three quick pieces of AI news to get your day going. Number one, Google shared at their earnings call yesterday that 25% of the code they are producing at Google is produced by large language models. That doesn't mean that large language models are automatically deploying code. Sundar clarified that he still has human engineers in the loop reviewing code. It would probably be more accurate to see this more in line with what Amazon has done with uh, leveraging their Q model to automate a bunch of the boring code production, for lack of a better term, uh, that Amazon engineers previously had to spend time on. Uh, if you recall back in August, Andy Jassy had a lengthy post talking about how Amazon had saved something like 4,500 years of developer work by automating a lot of boring code with Q, which is their in-house large language model. So LLMs are being used for enterprise code. That's the takeaway. Number two, this mostly flew under the radar, but it's definitely worth paying attention to. The general in charge of STRATCOM, which is uh, the United States government strategic command and control uh, for nuclear weapons, shared with Congress that he sees a role for artificial intelligence in increasing situational awareness in the nuclear command and control chain, but not for decision making, for which I, for one, am grateful. Anything in that entire realm feels very newsworthy, and I was a little bit surprised that this one snuck under the radar. Number three, uh, a new white paper is out from OpenAI talking about agentic workflows and how they're already being used at scale. In this case, OpenAI partnered with Decagon, which is a back office for customer success focused on AI native solutions. They power uh, companies like Notion, and they use multiple different large language models in a tool chain and an agentic workflow, which means that they have agents making decisions to send customer requests to different routes to go to different agents for other things, etc. They did not describe the agentic workflow in detail, probably because Decagon doesn't want to reveal their secret sauce but they did share a couple of tidbits. They said they're using multiple models like 3.5, 4.0, and 0.1 mini, and that 3.5 in particular, which you might think of as a weaker model, is being used to reframe vague customer utterances or queries in a chat box window so that they are more strong and more specific and more useful for a large language model down the way in the workflow to parse and then make decisions about. So basically 3.5 is being used to amplify a customer query so that other LLMs can take care of it. I thought that was really interesting. I'm gonna link that white paper for you to look at and I'll link the other news stories too. There you go. We've got news on Google, news on nuclear command and control and news on how agentic workflows are already here. Cheers.